Hello everyone. I'm here today with another process video. Still, still working on Prague, but I'm about halfway getting there. So I'm making progress. It's just taking a while. So here are some more photos I have. This was part of the river cruise I took. Obviously this is the Charles Bridge. We got some fantastic photos right around sunset time. Couldn't really have asked for better on that on that river cruise. So I do want to highlight these. I did choose to make this a five by seven so that I can make it its own six by eight page. And the layout on the back of here is already done. And I potentially had thought about using this both sides, but this does not work with this photo. That's, it's just too much. I think the green matching the domes here, the trees and things, I just think that's a better option, a little bit more subtle. It still has a pattern, but it's subtle. So I'm going to go with the green. And then I did have these two phrases. This one I actually had from a digital file set that I bought and just printed. So that was ready to go. This one I made myself. I used the Project Life app. I just picked a gray background, typed in a couple of phrases I wanted in a font that I like, and I printed it. So this is one that's going to go with that. And I have no idea on embellishments yet or stamping. Got a lot of dead space in some spots. So we'll see what I can do with it. I've adhered the photo on this right hand side and one thing I do want to mention, I'm not sure how well the camera picks this up, but I chose to do these photos, particularly this enlargement, through Nations Photo Lab because they offer a specific finish that's their metallic finish. And for photos like this where you have interesting color and fine details that you want to highlight, their metallic finish is fantastic. It's so beautiful. Yes, it costs a little bit more, but not that much. And to me, it's totally worth it to get the photo quality that I want. So I did spend the money to do that, and I'm very happy with how it looks here. Now I'm going to attach these. I'm not exactly sure in what order or how they will be on this side because there's more space, but I have to figure out the placement. This is the placement that I selected here. I do think I need something else. I think I need some bling around here. So I'm contemplating, at first I thought enamel dots, but I think I want a little bit of sparkle because of this reflection on the water and just because it's Prague and it's beautiful. So I think I'm going to do some rhinestones instead. I've picked out some rhinestones and really the only colors I have in here that match are either just the clear or this light green. I had this kind of amber color because I thought, oh, maybe it would work because of the brown tones. It's this one right here, but it's really way too yellow. It doesn't go. I tried it. It doesn't look good. So I'm going to stick with these. This is probably the placement I'll use. And then I may have to add some in over here just so it's not just on this one side, but I'm not sure. I'll start with this and see how it goes. So I've decided, oh, sorry. <laughs> My furnace just kicked on, it's kind of loud, sorry. I've decided to switch these photos because now with them in this configuration, I can do something on the left-hand side here and on the right-hand side here. When I had them switched before, if I did something here, they'd be next to each other. I don't like that. So I'm switching those and I'm going with this layout instead. I've also pulled out some wood veneer pieces that I have from Colorcast Designs. They came in a set. And this one says the best getaway. And that is so true. This is one of my favorite things we did in Prague. So I'm going to use this one. So I adhered the wood veneer to this photo and I like the placement. I think I'm also going to add a little rhinestone right here next to it because then it will tie in the rhinestones over there and over here. I added the rhinestone there and I'm happy with the way that looks. And I thought maybe I was done with this right hand side, but now I've decided I'm not. I think I want to add some washi here. And I figured brown was the way to go, but I don't really have that many brown options. So it's kind of this and that's it. I have one other one, but it's very wide. It's a polka dot, it doesn't go. This is a little bit more maybe European looking. So I think I could get away with it here. So I think I'm just gonna put a little bit down at the bottom there and see what I think of it. If I don't like it, I can pull it up. There we go. I was looking for the start here and it was tough to get it. Don't use this one a lot. Don't use a lot of brown usually. 
So I'm thinking I want it opposite of this, so more on the right-hand side, maybe just a little bit overlapping right there. Let's see what I think of that. I don't want to see that shiny and silver in the background. Yeah, I think that works. All right. There we go. Is that it, or do I want to add something here? I wonder if I added a little bit of washi in this corner so that these are opposite, if that would look strange. Let's try it and find out. So here's the photo with a little bit of washi added, and I do like it. It makes it feel less blank to me. And then just for aesthetic purposes, I am just going to put a little staple in there with it. And this one is probably done. I really don't want to add too much. Less is more often. And these photos are so lovely by themselves that I don't think they need anything else. So you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. Here's another one done for Prague today. Thanks for watching.